Alright. Alrighty. Alrighty then. I gotta get used. I gotta get used to the control scheme again because I've been playing a lot of Metal Gear Solid 3. And I'm used to pressing circle for menu accept and X to back out. Gotta press X to accept and triangle to back out. It's almost the opposite, but alright, we're fine. Hello everybody and welcome to back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil with Mio X Fu and well, I've worked my way back up to where we, about where we left off. Like, obvious, obviously I'm not in the lab being choked to death by gas, but... <laughs> I worked my way through, uh, found the incriminating evidence against Wesker. And worked my way through a couple of these flesh zombies. Like, honestly, they remind me of Redeads, except creepier because there's not... Oh, I thought that that caution molding at the bottom of the wall was a zombie leg just laying there on the ground. I heard one, so I was starting to freak out. It's like, ah, I don't want to fight them. Because I know I was saying, oh, they're so pathetic. Oh. <laughs> I went and pressed right to to bring up my, my weapon menu. Th again, thinking this was Metal Gear Solid. Um, I believe we've unlocked this door, though. So I'm actually going to go through here first. But I know I was saying how pathetic those guys are, but now they're freaking me out because they're the only ones that... Oh god. Oh god, two of them. Uh, equip, yes. Yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, gun. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, that felt good. Oh, there's another one. Haha! -ha! Your animation is clipping through the wall, I see. None of that around here. Oh god! I'm really hoping we never have to come in this room again. That would be oh so sweet. Fax! <laughs> Got the car fax? I hate that commercial so much. To General Manager of Sanitation Division from Special Committee on Disasters, Raccoon Special Research Department, this memorandum is strictly confidential and must be destroyed as soon as it is understood. Gotcha, Chief. <laughs> uh, it only reminds me of uh, Inspector Gadget whenever he'd get the the mission from the chief and it, it this message will self-destruct upon reading and he throws it back at the chief and it blows him up wherever he's hiding regarding the t-virus outbreak which occurred recently this committee conducted a field survey according to the survey results estimates in the amount of damage caused by the accident are considerably greater than reported earlier first although it is very difficult to obtain accurate data in terms of actual numbers it is thought that more than half of the researchers died after exposure to the T-Virus. The body count will most likely increase since nearly all of the survivors show symptoms per I thought it said particular because that's what it would usually say. Peculiar to the T-Virus. I've only seen peculiar used that way like a few times and not usually in video games. That's pretty sophisticated for a video game. I've only seen it used in books and usually sci-fi books i think a uh, second our security system is still in operation however our special security guard squad has nearly been destroyed because of that research information considered by our company to be top secret has been made available to outsiders countermeasures should be taken as soon as possible finally many of the subjects from the experiment have escaped and are out of control we believe that some researchers were killed by these subjects and their bodies were mutilated. By curious coincidence, these events are proof of the success of our research. However, there is also a very high risk that this news may be leaked to the press if we don't act immediately. I just love doing the weird diction thing. Uh, the condition is very serious. Our operation to cover up the situation is difficult to attain. However, we hope that the problem will be solved quickly. We are especially concerned that the... State police and stars are intervening too quickly. We need to act on this situation as well. All right, so it looks like Wesker is more than just clean up. Like, I'm guessing that he was inserted into stars surreptitiously or something in order to hinder our progress. If he's the one behind all the deaths, cardboard and posters, nothing useful. I don't know. Look at that. Excite 1998. <laughs> can we... I don't think we can do first person view at all, can we? Or maybe we can. <laughs> I just forgot how. 
But anyway. That seems pretty useful to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, he said knowingly. Most of them are fiction books. Most of them? What are the other ones? Come on. What is it? Something you can't really tell me? It's a pass code output machine. Ooh. If I had an... Oh. No. 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 And I can't just load up again because I don't... Ugh, the load's like 40 minutes behind. Oh. No. 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 Game, why would you do this? We've got like four MO discs, don't we? Well, there seems to be only one thing that we should do. Uh, go back, get all the MO discs. Keep the one shotgun and just get all the codes at once. I don't like this. I do not like this one little bit. Because they're making us go through that room twice. Because there was no way we would have known that the MO disc passcode machine generator thing was in there. Ooh, I don't like this. I do not like this one little bit. That's, that's, that's mean. That's tricky. That's very mean, Capcom. It is Capcom who made this. Yeah, I've seen the title screen often enough. I should know that it's Capcom. Okay, let's see. Back to the back to the old grind. We're throwing stuff into this and taking them out. No, not hex crank. I want the ammo discs. Uh, ammo disc, and I believe we have one more. Where is it? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that's my my brother's friend yelling in the background. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Alright, so there's only three ammo discs. That's fine. That means we get a Beretta, which means we have a couple more shots at least. Although it shouldn't take too many to get rid of these zombies. I just want them to like lose their head from a shot. Because then that makes things so much easier, you know? We did pick up this one, right? Yeah, we did. Good, 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 good. Hup two, hup two. Come on, Chris. You're doing fine. I honestly don't know if you guys can hear what's going on outside. Like, I can't really do anything about it. I could shut my windows. I'm not going to, because then I'd be, like, steamed more than a lobster <laughs> boy alive more than a lobster i guess not steamed but um oh. i don't hear footsteps did they just not did they just go away Okay, um, well, yeah, 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 uh, I don't know what to think now, because usually those guys would be hanging around, you know, come back to life, passcode one, I can't read that, but you know what, oh, yeah, yeah, hey, hey, doesn't matter that I can't read it. I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you have done this and have not withheld held your son, your only son. Genesis. So, what is that? Uh, that's the story of Abraham, right? And sacrificing his son? I don't know. I'm not really up on my whole... On my whole Bible. Oh, can we only use it once? I already have the passcode. Oh, we can only use that once. Okay. Um, that's odd. But whatever. <laughs> well, anyway. Uh, that was not as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, can we use it? 
No, I keep forgetting which button runs. Can we use it on this now? A passcode panel. You've entered the passcode. Okay, we've got to find three of them, it seems. Oh joy. Oh joy, oh joy, oh joy. Well. This got a whole lot more unnecessarily complicated. <laughs> uh, let's see. Alright, I think I can think of where one of them would be. It's probably through the ventilation shaft in the lab that killed us. And I'm guessing that the other one is in the one of the doors that is blocked from the other side or whatnot. Uh, oof. Oy. All right, so let's pick up a lab key. And we'll throw you back there, because we... Oh, wait, we want the clip ammo. Because I'd rather have ammo than that, that uh, ammo disc. Actually, you know what? I'll be. I want to be. I want to be like. I'll be right back. But I'm not gonna cut it out. Like I, I feel actually bad about doing. Beep beep yourself. <laughs> Jeez. Um. You know I'm not gonna cut it out. But what I'm gonna do is run down to the lab, use the lab key, then come back and get the ammo disc. Oh wait a minute. All right. A zombie right over there. I can hear him. He's gonna come around the corner any moment now. That or he'll come up right behind me. That's cool too. Kind of figured that was gonna happen and once he wasn't coming around the corner. And you're gonna come up right behind me per too. Perfect. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, just lose your head. That'd make things so much easier for me. And he's just dorking around over there. You know what? I'm going to run around. Because I did take out one of them. Bosh. Blowing his head off. So I'm just going to go around this last guy. Nope. He's just going to be like, no, no, I don't think so. Well, I'm going to run around to the other end. You know? I don't think you're smart enough. Or maybe you are. Um... Or maybe I just ran too quickly. Oh, no, there's there's two of you. Great. Great, great, perfect. Well, that works, too. You have used the lab key. It is now useless. Cool. Yes, I'll discard it. All right. So, combined with that, running out of shotgun ammo. Running out of shotgun ammo. I probably should just be running around these guys, but I don't really see a way to run around them without getting hit. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. I forgot there were zombies. I thought I thought it just opened up into this lab. What? Honestly. And for some reason, with this lab, I figured, oh, well, it, you must have to f solve this puzzle now. I, I don't know why. Alright, I thought there was one of the ammo disc things in here. Huh. I don't suppose we could move this bench, could we? No. Okay. Hmm. The only other thing is I can, I can think of is maybe it doesn't stay turned on? the gas and we've got to move the stairs over the other vent in order to block it off hmm I don't I honestly don't know unless unless wait a minute we move this up here go back around move that cardboard box onto the first gas hole <laughs> it's funny because it sounds like I'm saying asshole. Okay, I gotta move that up one more tick. Uh, 
Sorry, I'm thinking on my feet while I do this also, so. Like, it doesn't seem like too hard of a puzzle, but I'm, I, I'm grasping in my Zelda and Pokemon boulder moving lessons. <laughs> and a puzzle like this doesn't really pop up, so. Alright. I want to move you... Okay, good. I was going to say, I want to move you up a little bit, because I'm afraid you're going to hit that button, but it seems like it's fine. Okay, so that's cool. Alright, get around. Alright, and now we can move you down, or move you over just a tiny bit, and then move you down. I just need enough that Chris can get in between. All right, there we go. That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. I'm really hoping that I can move this back as well. Yeah, okay, perfect. This is actually absolutely perfect. So now, move you back down there. Move you this way, over the gas vent, and see if we can fit those stairs in there like it is. I think we've got to move that box up just a little bit, though. Yeah, we're going to have to. Alright, let's go. Aha! Nothing happened. Gotta be careful with this, though. There we go. Perfect. Oh, that, that I, I don't think I could ask for a more perfect way to arrange these. Alright, and push this up. There we go. Go up, Chris. And what do we have here? There's an air shaft. Will you enter it? I will, actually, because I want to find out what's... Oh, oh, God, body bags. And a shiny. Um, okay, we've got enough room for the shiny. Just be careful, Chris. No, not yet. I want to see what else is in this room. Alright, so there's got to be a door that'll let us out. Oh, right there. <laughs> uh, body bags in a zombie game. It's like the worst thing. A passcode output machine. Hey, if I had an MO disc, I could get the code. Well, guess what? We got an MO disc. Passcode 2. I will surely bless you and make your descendants as numerous as the scars, stars in the sky and as the sand on the seashore. Your descendants will take possession of the cities of their enemies. Genesis. I think that's also Abraham. Okay. Not gonna leap up and kill me. This place seems to be a morgue in a zombie game, which is why I'm freaking out. Corpse is laid here. Okay, let's, you know what? Let's get out of here before anything happens. A anything happens. All right, so took care of the puzzle that killed us. Cool. I will see you guys next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil with Mio Fu while we get as we go back to get the other ammo desk and take care of the rest of this. It's gonna be a zombie right outside. Oh no, maybe not. Oh god, there he is. <laughs> Oi. Oi.